Hi, I'm Scott Tibbs from Roland, and I'm here at Nova Music showing you the Roland JDXI crossover synthesizer. Now this is Roland's first step in this crossover concept where we take our highest level of DSP technology and we couple it with pure analog sound. Let's take a look at the top panel of the JDXI. Now over here we have the, the Canon input for the vocoder. We have the controls for not only parameter adjustment, but for calling up programs. Um, we have the tap tempo, of course we have the mod wheels and the pitch bin, uh, octave buttons, arpeggio hold, um, we have the four part selection, we have the tone selection here, the pattern sequencer, as far as the oscillator is concerned we have the, uh, the waveform selection here for the digital parts, we have the category select right there. And then it goes over to the filter section. We have the, the digital, the variable digital filter here, the amplifier, the LFO section, and then we go into the digital effects. Now over here with the analog side, we have a, a, its own separate analog filter. And instead of the ADSR sliders, we have a very simple, just one knob control that really handles a lot of the very cool features of uh, the, the typical ADSR sliders. The depth knob for the uh, LFO and effects on and off and uh, variable effect settings that you can apply. Here is the four part step sequencer. You can do this in step time or you can also do it in real time. This also doubles as your favorites list. So you can chain patterns together. You can have them tempo locked if you want or they can have their own individual tempo. So it's really nice to have the favorite section so you can go from one pattern to the next. Within the pattern sequencer, you could have up to four measures of pattern data. So very, very cool, very thorough. Now the Roland JDXI crossover synthesizer is a combination of both our highest end DSP technology, which is the digital side, and a pure analog side. So we have two digital parts, and we have a drum part, and these are all PCM bass sound, and this can go through the variable digital filter, and then through the amplifier, LFO, so on, and through the digital effects. Now, there's also an analog voice, one pure analog voice that has three different waveforms, the, uh, the saw, the triangle, and the square with a pulse width for the square, and its own analog filter. And that can go through the digital effects if you want, or you can just bypass the digital effects. So let's take a listen to uh, the digital sounds. Now the category Select here allows me to select any of these categories, like brass category. Or any keyboard part. So you can tell it's very, very versatile. Synth bass. Now, the digital parts they are based on our supernatural technology. So this is very, very high end, very deep into the synth uh, sort of modeling the synth behavior of like from our Jupiter and from our uh, other synthesizers. So we have that, that capability with this very, very cool, flexible digital synth uh, DSP technology. Now, let's go into the drums. Now, there's 33 different drum kits. Now, you can choose all kinds of different drum kits, or you can just tweak the sounds that are there, and it's very easy to do. So, for instance, if I want to tweak this snare, I just hit the snare, tweak it, maybe tweak this kick. Now, if you notice, the filter changes for each instrument sound. So you can tweak your own kit right away. You can even adjust the effects for each note. So if you want to have the compressor on this one, you can have it, but maybe not on this one. Very cool. Okay, so now let's go to the analog part. Now this is where it gets really, really special. Pure analog sound. 
going through its own individual analog filter. Now you have three different waveforms. You have the, the, uh, the saw, the triangle, and the square with pulse width. Now, with each of these oscillators, you have a sub, a one octave sub, or a two octave sub. And this keyboard is very durable, very playable too, so you can really rip some cool uh, keyboard licks on there or just if you're pounding out drums, you can really bang on them and it's going to work. It's going to play and, and stay there for you for a while. This portable keyboard is perfect for the backpack musician, for the synth super guru, for the beginner. It really, it's as serious as you want to be. So, um, and it, fit, it connects perfectly to your DAW. So in all, all respects, it's just a powerhouse all the way around. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the program. Now the program consists of the four digital parts, all of the settings, the effect settings, um, and also a four part pattern sequence. Now, so if I go ahead and start the, uh, the pattern sequence, I got a cool little synth bass. Tweak right away. Now the cool thing about this is that I could use this keyboard now as a, G as a DJ tool where I can bring parts in and out. I have a four part mixer that I can actually mix all the parts. So it really makes it very convenient and very cool to use in a live DJ type setting as well. a very cool use of the pattern and the program very easy to program I'll show you how to do everything in a moment now let's talk about the arpeggiator now I got this really cool sound based on the LFO really a very very fast LFO rate Now, I'm just going to turn on the arpeggiator. Get the idea, very useful. Now, speaking of the LFO, let's dig a little bit deeper into its functionality here. So I'm just gonna start a pattern. Now, let's go and take a look a little bit even deeper. So I have the analog sound. Now, if you look over here at the LFO, I can choose the, what the pattern, what the wave form for the LFO is very easily. 
and I have a variable uh, switch over here that allows me to go in and tweak the pitch, the filter, or the amplifier. So very, very cool, super quick, very crisp. Now, as I mentioned before, the JDXI has this four part pattern sequencer. Now you can do things in step time or you can do them in real time. It's just however you want to work. It makes it very, very easy. So right now I have, I have the four parts and if I put it, go over to the analog part, I select that. You can see that I have some data already here. So I've already pre-programmed that. Go to the drums. I have nothing there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start and put some, a, dr a drum pattern there. So I start the pattern. I'm going to hit the kick. That's the sound I want. Now I'm just going to place it in the grid. And we're good. Now the snare. I like that snare. Yeah, I like that one. Now the hi-hat. I'm going to tweak the hi-hat. Now, I'm going to bring in the next part. Let's go to the, set, the first part. Nothing there. I'm just going to th randomly throw things in here, show you how easy it is. lot of fun. It doesn't really matter if you have a lot of uh, understanding of the symmetry of the keys and the notes and all these things. It's really just about figuring out where the patterns are and just a, a huge amount of curiosity and you're just going to have so much fun making really creative music with the JDXI. The JDXI is a great companion for any DAW or any studio work. However you want to use this in conjunction with other gear, it's going to be a great, great asset. Now, what I have here is I just have one single USB cable connected from the JDXi into my computer and I'm running Logic right now and I'm just going to show you how easy it is to sync everything up and just go and have some, have some fun. So I'm going to start a pattern. First let me get my Lo Logic recording. Perfect. It's coming in perfectly synced. It's awesome. And there's my audio. Now, of course, this is also a great MIDI controller. So you can, again, program all your drums, program all of your, your synth parts. All of the stuff that you uh, tweak live, like all the, the, the cutoff and res and all that stuff, that can go over via TX Edit, so that can be recorded into your DAW. It, that stuff can also be recorded into your pattern sequence here internally on the JDXI. So either way you want to go, it's going to work great. So let's talk a little bit about the in and outs of the JDXI. There's stereo output, there's a click out, there's a, a mono input that allows you to bring in an external source, whether it's a line in or a guitar, whatever that you want to come in here and filter that, warm it up with the, the JDXI filter, use the effects, however you want to work it, it's going to be great as, as an input um, device. Now there's also traditional MIDI in and out, 
And with the USB connection, you can take one single USB cable and you can go back and forth via MIDI, and it also will go back and forth with audio. So basically the JDXI is an audio interface that will connect perfectly to your DAW. A great addition to the JDXI is the vocoder. Very, very unique, very clear um, vocoding features taken from our previous vocoders, like from the, the VP330, some old vintage ones, but also some very new clear ones. There's a very cool... <laughs> algorithm where you can play fifths There's also an algorithm that allows us to sing very articulate accents with the vocoder. Essentially, human LFO. Now you can also do all of the auto-tune pitch correction stuff. You just choose the scale and then it's going to auto-correct you. It's going to stair-step your voice, which is also very cool. You have the formant control. Um, you can do the whole gender uh, mixing if you want and also octave higher and octave lower. You can adjust the gender of your voice. You can go down the octave. <laughs> go up the octave. <laughs> There's also an optional bag that, uh, that you can get for the JDXI. It fits everything. It fits the microphone, the keyboard, some extra cables if you need, power supply. You can check this out at some of the Nova bundles. So that's the JDXI crossover synthesizer from Roland. It's really a perfect instrument for so many different types of applications, whether you're a DJ, whether you're a synth beginner, or a synth expert. If you're working in the studio with your DAW, it's going to cross over great with all your other studio gear, work awesome with your computer. If you have any questions, just contact the guys over at Nova Music. Thank you.